Hi, so today we'll discuss about the roles and permissions in a detailed manner. So we just need to log in through our login credentials. Once we log in, the first screen that we come across is the screen. Now from here, what we need to do, we just need to go to the settings option at the bottom left. Once we go to the settings option, there are a couple of options comes in at the top of the screen. So over here at the extreme middle, there's a roles and permission option. Once we click on this roles and permission option, over here, we can see that all the rules are been listed at the top. Whatever the default rules are there, that will be there. If in case we are adding a new rule, that also once we add a new rule, it will also list at the top itself, just to the right hand side. And at the left hand side, all the permissions are there. So that means which all particular permission should be given to the particular rules, I can select it from here. So let's say at the first permission is roles and permission. Once I click on it, I can see that which particular role should have an uh, should have the right to select the view and to modify the roles and permission of okay so it should always be with the organization admin itself it should not go to any other way any other particular rules if in case i want to give this particular uh, view and modify the roles and permission option to any of the particular roles what we need to do i just need to click on this particular checkbox and then need to click on this save changes automatically this particular permission will be aligned to this particular role okay so i'll just deselect it even in the left hand side i can see just beside the permission there's an i button once i click on the i button if in case i'm not able to understand that which particular permission is all about i can just simply read it the complete details has been automatically popped i can read it and i can understand that this permission means that is the this particular uh, thing similarly i'll just click on contact so all these permission are on a module basis so let's say there's a roles and permission option is regarding the roles and permission who can view and who can change the roles and permission as per the different uh, roles. Contacts. Who should have the permission to search and view the leads? View the contact history of the leads. Upload the leads, upload the data, whatever it may be. Then delete the particular leads or download the contact history or download the contact, download the leads or uh, details and all. Who will have the permission to allow searching leads on the basis of source? On the basis of source, who can uh like who can search the leads okay along with that there's a custom lead form module once i click on this under this particular module there are two more permissions are there which particular role should we give it to view custom lead form custom lead form usually been uh, used while adding to walking leads okay so who can modify the custom lead form accordingly i can give it the permission to the particular roles then similarly marketplace so marketplace means the particular ivr and all Okay, who will be able to manage, who will be able to add and uh, like add and modify users in the marketplace, the, the IVR section that I can do it from here. Similarly, SMS automation, who would be able to manage the SMS automation that also I can give it simply the dashboard who will be able to uh, like see the dashboard and for which particular uh, for which particular role I want to hide the dashboard. So if for any of the particular role, if I simply click on hide dashboard, that means while login, the particular dashboard shows the complete overview of the account, the overall analytics. That person or that particular role would not be able to view that. The complete analytics won't be shown to him. So if I want to do that, I can simply hide dashboard for any of the role. Simply the workflows is there. If for any of the particular uh, roles, if I want to give this permission as view and modify work or workflows, that also I can do it from here. Simply the trains. So who all, uh, which all particular roles should have an option to view the trains. That also I can give it. So here I guess only the organization admin can view it. The others can't. Okay. The trains means the graphical representation of what is happening in the account. Simply the custom contact properties. So custom contact properties is usually used at the time of data uploading. So it will help the any of the particular column to become a filter option so that the users and the admin and the manager also can filter out the data as per that particular column. So that particular option also view and modify which particular rules uh, should have it. That also I can set it up over here. Once I click on any of this uh, checkboxes, I just need to click on uh, save, save changes. That's it. Then after that, the simply the pipeline as well. Okay, in the pipeline section, I can see there are a couple of uh, permissions are there like view pipeline settings, modify pipeline settings, view unified pipeline leads, then download unified pipeline leads. Uh, unified means in a particular pipeline, 
if I give this unified, unified means inside the particular pipeline, there would be multiple columns, multiple campaigns. So if I want to download the complete pipeline leads or complete, I want to view the complete pipeline leads, including all the campaigns, that also can be done. So in that scenario, which all particular role should have the permission to do that? Then view unified pipeline call log report, download unified pipeline call log report. So inside the pipeline, including all the campaigns, the call log report to view and to download. Okay, then the campaign section I can see who should have the permission to add and delete the campaign, view all campaigns, view all the leads, view leads, download report, modify lead, delete lead, view call logs, view call logs, call logs, download report, then view the task which has been given to any of the user, then view uploaded files, what are the files has been uploaded or the data has been uploaded to view it, then modify campaigns, so the campaign can be modified, who should have the permission then include this in campaign owner. So all these things, which all particular, so including all these things, which, which all particular permission should be given to any of the particular roles I can select it from here. Then after that integrations, who should have the permission to add a new integration, modify the existing integration, delete the integration and view the integration. If we view it, then we'd be able to see all the details, the APIs and all, okay, which has been used to do integration, uh, any of the other softwares then accordingly the reports who should have the uh, option or the right to download the user report and download the campaign report as well okay that i can just uh, set it up from here itself even for the users also who should have an option to add a new user view the users and uh, dependent send then accordingly view all users and modify the users to change their name number or anything to uh, modify their password anything that can be done then view lead of other users okay that means a particular role if it's uh, if this particular permission has been given then the particular role would be able to see the other users uh, data as well okay from the user perspective from the user mobile application or the web application okay then after that the bill and subscription that uh, which all particular role should have a permission to view this bill and subscription along with that the organization setting as well organization setting as I can see in the organization setting, there is view organization settings, modify organization settings, which particular role should have this. Okay. Organization setting, there would be completely a lot of things that can be set it up. Then in the mobile, in the mobile section, who would be able to view the contact history, who would be able to like uh, copy leads to other campaign, then allow user to reassign lead, allow user to reopen close leads, allow user to view mobile numbers, allow user to edit lead information. So this thing can be changed for a particular users or a particular uh, like executives or anything, any of the roles. Okay, if in case I want it, I can do this. So this is basically the roles and permissions. So we just need to check all the permissions. If any of the permissions I'm not able to understand, I just simply click on this uh, permission and right inside there will be the IA button. Once I click on this IA button, the reason will pop up and I will be able to understand that what this permission actually mean and whether this particular permission, I want to give it to this, any of this particular role or not. So accordingly, I can just derive it. So yeah, that's all. That's, uh, that's how the roles and permissions can be defined as per the uh, like different roles and all. So yeah, thank you.